Hello everybody and welcome to Train Sim World 2. Today we will be doing the DBR363 introduction. Again, this is actually the second time I've recorded this because OBS stuffed up again. I should probably check that it's actually recording before I do the whole thing. Um, which unfortunately means that I have done this all already. Um, but I will still do it again. Uh, but I know. Driver training here at Hagen Yard. Today he will be learning to drive this BR363 diesel locomotive in DB Raylion livery. Thanks for talking straight over me. This brief introduction will cover train preparation, critical driving controls, and freight operations. So I was saying. Board to get started. So I was saying that we can use this uh, to streamline the process, and I know a little bit about how the. Uh, functionality Take a seat in the works. Position. This is where you'll be spending most of your time. To activate the cool, to allow fuel to flow to the engines, the fuel pump switch must be set. To start the engines, set the engines. To Right, and then that goes into forwards. Now release the parking brake. For this introduction, you will be performing shunting duties around Hagen Yard and forming a train. Okay. This train is now ready for operation. The throttle on the locomotive is a little unusual. Coasting is a method used to efficiently maintain speed and reduce motor stress and maintenance requirements. I am okay. Move the throttle to the backward position to slow the engine until it idles, and then return the throttle to the hold position again. I'm good. Quite alright. Keeping to speed limits is important. If you begin overspeeding, apply a small amount of brake by moving the driver's brake valve into the braking range. And the brakes on this are ridiculously strong if you just leave it. It's a Westinghouse brake, which I discovered the hard way, and I hate Westinghouse brakes. Um, and the wheels do lock up sometimes, which I hate. Uh, so like you can see now, the wheels have just stopped moving. The wagons are behind us. So change directions with the reverser, and then contact the dispatcher to get permission to access the track they are in. The signal will change to white when we are clear to proceed. Yep. This yard is centrally controlled, so we don't need to manually operate any junctions. They'll be That's set That's amazing. Us. It'd almost be a shame if I didn't care. Um, so, considering that I've already done all of this already, I can use this opportunity to ramble about some other stuff. Um, stuff including uh, my friend Blazing A over on his channel has been putting together some funny moments of mine. I'm not sure if I approve of them or not, but you can have a look at them if you want. Um, his videos get quite a lot more views than mine do, so I'm actually surprised that he doesn't have as many sub subs that I do. Um, now you are coupled, bring these wagons over to the second set to form a train. And this part's always difficult because it always takes three million years to move. Sand. Right, off you go. It's 
sounds like the brakes might be on, but I don't really care either. Um, just want to get this done. Uh, it's not a long scenario, uh, but I did have a quick look at the other scenarios that come with this train. They're all over 40 minutes long, which is lovely. Uh, so they'll have to wait until a weekend or some other time, because I don't have the time to make that kind of hour-long content. Sometimes longer than an hour. Did I accidentally put that in emergency? I did, didn't I? Oh, but I think this train's so old that it doesn't really care either. Okay, now i got to pull up further. Now we can get some power. Power would be nice. On train, move! Yes, there you go. All right, now that counts. Request permission from the dispatcher to enter the siding containing the wagons and then proceed when you get the white lights. Right, and that's a green signal. And we can back it up. Also, if you guys have any suggestions for um, liveries or scenarios that you'd like me to make, just drop them in the comments. I reply to all of your comments because I don't get many of them and it's not a super difficult task. Um, so yeah, if you want to see something, then just throw it down in there and most likely I will have a look at it. The last time someone asked me to do something was when Berlin bus spotting, I think it was, asked me, oh no, don't stop, oh for god's sake, uh, asked me to speed test the um, I'll wait because that's very loud, asked me to speed test the um, uh, to speed test the LU train are the 72 stock. And so I did it. Uh, we need to manually couple these. Come on. There we are. Now we back up again. Nice work. Now uncouple from the train and return the locomotive to its initial location. And now I want to get the coupling arm, raise that, yoink it into full throttle. Oh, and I should probably stick the headlights on as well. Alright, um, I yeah, probably should start to think about braking. I'll use the direct brake. Adding a little bit of brake, come off that one. And you can see now, the, the reason why it's making that noise is because the wheels have just locked up. You can see, they're completely stuck. Okay, off we go again. There are also some rear headlights here that I can chuck on. That's the emergency brake. 
No, 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 no. Oh god, that is... Not something nice to look at, has to be said. I think I'll stick to the direct brake. I think that's a little bit more reliable. Right, bail it off. And whack it on. That's it. Good work. That concludes all of the basics of operating this train. Well, thank you. And with that said, that does conclude this video. So, like, subscribe and share, and I will see you all next time.